As a side effect of having a large roster, not all WWE superstars can appear regularly on screen. This is Wrestling Up, and here are 14 wrestlers signed to WWE who don't appear on TV. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Up and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with everything in the world of pro wrestling. While Brock Lesnar is not signed to the company formally, he is expected to make a return. When that will be is not known, as he has not appeared in WWE since last year's WrestleMania. Debbie Kato is one of the most powerful and intimidating young stars WWE currently have signed, being a breakout star on Raw Underground. Almost on a weekly basis, Debbie Kato made it his business to take out the best and seemed to be the star Shane McMahon was intent on making. However, soon the Underground Fight Club disappeared, and Kato has not appeared since his Battle of the Behemoths match against Braun Strowman on September 21st, where unfortunately he suffered his first loss. Kato was later drafted to Raw, but has not appeared since. The Raw Underground concept was ill-executed and short-lived, but provided a platform to break out. Still, with Dabakato not being used but under contract, we can only hope he is preparing for a big return. Chelsea Green is signed with WWE but has not been on TV. She found success on NXT after abandoning Robert Stump, but despite being called up, she didn't get to make her appearance on Raw when Paul Heyman was removed from his position in charge. Instead, she made her debut on SmackDown in November, taking part in a fatal four-way qualifying match against Liv Morgan, Tamina, and Natalya to get a spot in the Women's Survivor Series team when she suffered a broken wrist. While she was supposed to win that match, Morgan got the win instead. Since then, she has not been on TV, although she has given updates on her recovery online, as she signed a three-year extension in November. As the hype rose with Zack Ryder, Mojo Rawley appeared to be an up-and-coming star, though an injury to Ryder led Rawley to a singles run. Even though it seemed WWE had a lot of big plans for the young star, and at WrestleMania 33 he won the Andre the Giant Battle Royal with help from Gronkowski, yet that has remained his only major achievement in WWE. He has won the 24-7 title multiple times. WWE was seemingly giving him a fractured gimmick where he was a heel, but they scrapped it, made him a face, then made him a heel again. He last appeared on June 15th and has been absent since. Another who is out with an injury, Jimmy Uso's absence has been one of the best things for his brother Jay, allowing him to stand out as a single star and even main event with Roman Reigns. Meanwhile, Jimmy suffered an injury at last year's Mania Ladder match. He was present for his brother's matches against Roman Reigns and at Hell in a Cell, it was him being choked out that forced Jay to say he quit. Since that match, he has remained off screen. Wesley Blake is not in the best luck in WWE. With Buddy Murphy and Alexa Bliss as their manager, he became NXT Tag Team Champion, yet this team ended after Alexa's main roster move. The next time after that 2016 episode that fans saw him on TV was nearly nine months later in May 2017. He teamed with Steve Cutler and Jackson Riker as the Forgotten Sons, but their luck ended when they were brought from NXT to SmackDown. While they had a promising start, a controversial tweet from Riker during the George Floyd protests saw tremendous backlash as the trio were taken off TV. Cutler and Blake came back to TV after almost six months where they teamed with Baron Corbin, though that alliance did not last and they were taken off TV again. Cutler was released from WWE on February 4th, and Blake has not been on TV since then despite being signed. Despite being Knoxville County Mayor, Kane has teamed with The Undertaker one last time and appeared in the 2021 Royal Rumble. Since the Rumble, Kane has been absent, but even with his duties as mayor, he is under WWE contract. Another casualty of Raw Underground closing, Tedis O'Neill has not been seen on WWE TV. He's been keeping busy with charities as an ambassador for the company. The last time Titus was appearing on WWE TV was during the Raw Underground segments. He was a part of several fights and made a good impression. After Underground, he appeared on Raw to face Bobby Lashley. That November 9th appearance against Lashley was his last match to date.
With him being absent since his match at Mania 36 against The Fiend, you can't see John Cena in WWE. The former champion is so busy he said he will not be appearing at this year's WrestleMania event due to travel restraints with him filming in Canada. When crowds come back, you can bet that a Cena return is not far off. After a slow start to his NXT career, Andrade made up for lost time teaming with Zelina Vega and became champion. He made the jump to the main roster in 2018 and was dominant. He became US champion in 2019, then lost the title to Apollo Crews the next year. His run had dimmed as he was in a team with Angel Garza and at one point Austin Theory. He would break up from Garza in October after months of feuding. Garza then defeated Andrade, signaling an end to their rivalry. Fans were waiting to see what was next for Andrade, but they were distracted by the shock of Zelina Vega's release. Since her release, Andrade has not been seen on TV, as Andrade requested his release recently but was denied. Given his talent and even his engagement to Charlotte Flair, WWE won't want to let him go. Yet another casualty of Raw Underground, Arturo Ruiz had several wins and losses, and when the Fight Club ended, he was drafted to Raw. Since then, he's been moved back to NXT where he made a single appearance on November 18th, losing to Kushida. brother of Bray Wyatt Bo Dallas last appeared on TV facing New Day while teaming with Curtis Axel at Crown Jewel 2019. He is under contract but has not appeared since. In NXT, he appeared to be one of the most promising future prospects even holding the title but his main roster run fell flat. He did manage to win the 24-7 belt and hold tag team gold but overall, it's been lackluster. In November 2019, he asked WWE for time off which was granted. Since then, he's not been recalled and his partner Curtis Axel was released. Bo is living on a ranch with Liv Morgan preparing for a life after wrestling. Becky Lynch has been absent for around 10 months after announcing her pregnancy and awarding her title to Oscar on Raw. Since then, Becky has given birth on December 4th to a daughter with Seth Rollins. The two were absent, but Seth has returned. It's expected Lynch will return after Mania, though. Alistair Black has not been seen on WWE TV since October. Soon after that, Zelina Vega, his wife, was released. Since coming to the main roster, Black has had intermittent spurts of a push. While on NXT, he became champion. He was drafted to SmackDown, not being used since. He is under contract, as Fightful said. Sources on SmackDown have indicated that they've not seen Black backstage since the Zelina release. We haven't heard any specific issues between Black and WWE, but one in the company thinks they're letting any ill will between the two subside. Ronda Rousey came to WWE after her defeats in the UFC and made an immediate impact. Soon enough, she had a match at WrestleMania and defeated the team of Stephanie McMahon and Triple H with Kurt Angle. Then she was looking at challenging for the Raw Women's title. Soon she had won the belt and found herself in a feud against SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch. While Becky was not able to compete against her at Survivor Series thanks to an injury courtesy of Nia Jax, she managed to win the Royal Rumble to face Rousey at WrestleMania 35. Charlotte was added to the match, much to the dismay of fans, but in the end, Lynch pinned Rousey to win both belts. Since that defeat at the hands of Lynch, Ronda has not been seen in WWE. At first, it was said she was taking time away from the company to start a family, but soon enough it became obvious she was not coming back anytime soon. She talked about how she had been unhappy there and called out wrestling for being fake. At the same time, she talked about hating the touring system, attracting the ire of wrestlers in the women's division. Now she's dealing with injury and after this year's WrestleMania, it will be two years since she was last a part of a WWE show. Although she is signed, it's not clear if she'll make a comeback. And these were those who were signed to WWE but don't appear on TV. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.